I'm Mert Schaffer. It is Big Brother Canada premiere day. I am at Young and Dundas Square in downtown Toronto. They have a human curling challenge set up. You might remember it from season one. I'm going to try it out with some Big Brother Canada alumni. Let's go. Whoa! 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 All right, it's Mert Schaffer. I am here with Big Brother Canada Challenge producer, fresh from the U.S., Trevor Boris. Supervising producer now. Oh, wait, really? Super, yeah. You were but pretty still... quick to add that in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't waste any time adding that in. Can we put that on the lower third? We'll just yes, change. Yes. No. Uh, yeah, nice to be here in the, the crazy cold. So now, does supervising producer mean you still do the challenges or no? Have you graduated yeah. past that? No, I still run the challenge department. Um, and then I do other stuff as well. So. so I guess, you know, we know that it's an Odyssey theme this year. Are we going to see a lot of, like, space challenges? Uh, is that kind of, like, the direction that we're going to go? Well, I think, I mean, the way we've kind of been going these last couple of years is that, you know, we have turned the house into kind of a character, and um, it definitely does kind of bleed into Challenge World. And so night one, um, it is, like, they're stepping outside the spaceship and going on this crazy, you know, adventure, kind of a spacewalk almost. Um, super dramatic, you're going to see tonight. It's actually... The craziest challenge we've ever had. And you're gonna see it and it's like crazy. And uh, in terms of like uh, the drama of it, um, dangerous, it's very dangerous, but still safe. Um, but uh, you know, we'll come back to it a couple times. But uh, you know, obviously I think the fun of the challenge is it's a, you know, a blank slate that you can do anything. So we certainly kind of, you know, I think this year we're really stepping outside of I think what people expect. We're doing a lot of really cool, unique, original things. Um, which I think fans love. I mean, in the U.S., you know, they do a lot of the same yeah. comps over and over. And yeah. I, know I was there this last summer. And, you know, you, it's kind of fun to do things different. Like, so you, sometimes you see in the house, you know, in the U.S., they're, they're talking about, they're going, oh, we know it's a spelling one today. And they're right. Exactly. And it's kind of like, oh, like I, I personally, just as a fan of the show, I hate when they know what's coming. I really want to flip the script on them, keep them guessing, and, uh, you know, and also then just, like, really push them. Does it help when you have returning players who kind of like already know the drill with the challenges or is it sort of like every season's different, you're still gonna have to give them a fresh walkthrough like the new contestants? Well, the vets definitely know they have to wait a lot. I mean, it's, you know, it's, there's always a lot of waiting around. So I think they're ready for that. But also, and it's, so it's interesting because there's, you know, there's some comps that we're doing that certainly have aspects of, of previous ones that we've done. So it's interesting to see like, oh, we know Kevin competed in that and maybe won that challenge. I wonder how that'll go, even though it's maybe a little different. But, uh, you know, so I think we're also trying to step up our game for that to be like, let's really, you know, do something that they're not going to be expecting. In terms of conceptualization, is this something you think about from the last season? Is it sort of like you're walking down the street? Oh, wait a minute, that would make a good challenge. How does that formula sort of come together? Well, there is a point where, I mean, there's a, there's a point after the show I kind of, well, I went right to the U.S. Yeah. and did that, and then I was like so burnt out and was like kind of hating Big Brother for a minute. So I kind of went away for a bit. That's your and supervising then, producer yeah. who just, <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. love, but you know, I mean, it's just like so much, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, and then there's, you kind of go away for a bit and then I, you kind of put on, I put on my challenge glasses and it's kind of a funny thing. You walk around and you just kind of notice things and you go, that could be a challenge. I mean, I remember one day seeing this like ant farm somewhere and go, you know, it'd be funny if there was people in there and then it became one of the coolest challenges yes, we did. Yes. But so it's, it's really funny that it's, you know, sometimes the challenge comes in a way really, really easily because you just, but you really got to know what you're looking for. Now the big question. Is Marsha the Moose going to be an alien this season? You know, like that's kind of that's kind of what my bet is. Uh -huh. Is that the case? It's a secret. Okay. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it's you know, Marsha's been a really kind of funny little gift that uh, we just thought it'd be silly to do season one, and people kind of seem to really dig her. And you know, we only do her in kind of small doses, and uh, who knows? Who knows what'll happen this year? Anything's possible. And, and final question: Who has the bigger fan base? Big Brother Canada, Trevor Boris. Uh -huh. Or Marsha the Moose? Well, I definitely think Big Brother Canada, and then I would say second is Marsha. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to lose that race, I think. I like, but you're, you're the supervising producer. Who needs fans? Right, thank right, you. Good yeah. memory. Amazing. All right. All right. Forever. Thank you so much. Thanks, Good buddy. luck. Thank you. Here with Peely. Wow, I'm so excited. Uh, so what is this, Peely? What is this challenge that we have set up here? Human curling from season one. Now. It looks pretty tough. Is it something that like I needed to prep for last night? Because I, I've never curled before, let alone become a human curling rock. 
I mean, it looks pretty tough in my opinion. We'll have to try it out though. Now, you're the Wiley veteran here, so I feel like, you know, I was deciding, would we have a better shot of me pushing you or you pushing me? I feel like our odds are better. I don't, you know, like, I'm not built for pushing. Oh, me neither. Okay. Well, so I think I should sit on the ice. What no, do you think? No, that's not happening. No, 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 no. I th okay. And, and then now before we do this, who do you think would be easier to push down ice on a curling rock, me or Kevin? Well, good question. Um... Kevin, I'm gonna give heads really? up to Kevin. I'm way lighter than that guy. Give me a break. All right, we're gonna get it set up. Are you ready to do this? Let's do it. All right. Alright, it is Big Brother Canada premiere day. I am here with Bobby, Peely, and Arlie. Bobby, we're gonna start with you. Cool. Your boy Bruno is back in. Are you rooting for him? Of course I'm rooting for Bruno. He was my showmance in the house, as everybody knows. One of the only showmans that are left, so I got a rep for him. I'm sure his family is so stoked for him. I know he's planning on playing a great game, so I'm just super ex excited to see how hard he's gonna play, if he's gonna play too hard too early. But I think he's gonna lay under the radar like usual and do his typical Bruno move. So I'm stoked, go all the way, buddy. Let's see it. Peely, I gotta ask you about Kevin. Uh, how do you think he's gonna fare? I think he's gonna do really, really good. He's a great, great, he's good at the game and he's super friendly. I hope he lays under the radar, especially with all these returnees that are like a shield for him. God love him, man. Cheering for you 100%. Arlie, Arlie, break it down. You are the strategist. Like, what do you see happening? This game's going to be absolutely insane this season. I think the guys and returning girls, returning guys, returning girls, have to turn on each other immediately. I think Bruno's going to target Netta and Cass. I think Netta and Cass are going to target Bruno. If they don't, they're idiots, and they're not idiots. 100% that's happening. I want to see Kevin and Ika take it all the way. I'm obsessed with them both. King Kmart, take it home, brother. Yay! Wow, that's, that's two Kevin's now. Do you think, Bobby, do you think Bruno is too nice for this game? I felt like that might have been a problem the first time. Yeah. Does, nice he have, does he brother. have the killer instinct? Does he have the killer instinct? Absolutely. He always keeps his eye on the prize. He knows that it is just a game at the end of the day. All relationships will be fine afterwards. He is cutthroat. We just watched an episode last night, actually. He was completely ready to evict me on uh, whenever it was, on during his, or when Greg and me were on the block. So even though I was his best friend, he's absolutely going to do what's best for his game. Zero emotions. So, Peely, a lot of people think the women are going to dominate this season. Is that what you think as well? I mean, I could agree with that, especially with the returning girls that are there now. I mean, they're huge, huge, huge personalities, so I think they might take it down. Like, believe it or not, maybe this, is, this will be the first time the guys actually lay under the radar while they just attack each other. Arlie, uh, Arlie what, what do you think in terms of challenges? Are they going to step it up a little? 100%. The vets are going to come in and they're going to be winning the challenges at the beginning more than the newbies, I would assume, because they're going to want it more. These newbies have no clue what they're getting into. They think they want it. They have no clue how bad a vet wants it at their second shot. It's, it's 50 times worse than someone who wants it on their first chance. So yeah, the vets are going to probably start clean sweeping some of these comps at the beginning, take full control of the game, and just annihilate each other. I like it. Now, uh, before I let you guys go, can you give me an update on what you've been doing since the show? I have been doing my usual stuff, my adrenaline junkie stuff. Uh, surfing season is still in, rock climbing season's coming up, so I could finally get outdoors again. Looking to move out finally, so somewhere in Burlington, so I'm stoked on that. But pretty much just doing the usual stuff, skateboarding whenever I can, and uh, my usual stuff, man. I like it. I like it. Peely, what about you? What's up? Kevin and I broke up, but we're still best friends, talking on a daily basis. So unfortunately, not anymore. Now I get to watch his face again, which I can't wait for. Moved home. Uh, I'm just working with kids right now. I love it. And yeah, that's life, just working out every day, trying to keep busy. Would you say you're single and ready to mingle? I'm single, but I'm not ready to mingle. <laughs> <laughs> and Arlie, <laughs> Arlie uh, what's up with you after the show? Uh, so right now I work for Enterprise. I'm help running the Mercedes uh, branch inside the. Can I do that again? What? Yeah, sure you can. Okay, yeah, we'll redo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, Arlie, what's up with you after the show? All right. So right now I'm working for Enterprise. I run their Mercedes satellite branch inside the Mercedes dealership down at Bay and Dundas. Did you say Mercedes or Mercedes? <laughs> Mercedes. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> Sad, yeah, definitely yeah. not gonna use that one. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much. Oh my god, thank you so much. So it is the day of the Big Brother Canada premiere. I am here with two winners and an almost winner. Sorry, yeah, Godfrey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, and a, I'm done. <laughs> all right. Now the first question is for you, John. We have a lot of returning players. Some say Netta might be the best of all time. What do you think her chances are, and who is your pick to win? Um, you know, I'm obviously gonna ride and die with my girl Netta. Um, I think she's gonna do well this season, crush it. So I obviously gotta call Netta for the win this season. No. Sarah, what do you think? Who, who, who do you put your money on? Oh, well, honestly, I, I'm rooting for the newbies, too. I want to see the newbies do well in China, and I think, I mean, it's hard for a returnee to win the whole thing, but um, I'm putting money with with my girl Cindy with an S. Oh, dropping it! Why not? Amazing. Are you, I wait. represent Toronto, right? Are you only picking her because your name also starts with an S? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sarah with an S, Cindy with an S. I like it, okay. God, Snow with an S. Now, let's talk to Mr. Machiavelli himself, Godfrey. Wax some poetic on me. All right, well, like, who are you picking? Okay, I just got to say, if you're putting money on Cindy with an S, you're going to lose your money. Uh, I personally... Godfrey! I want to go with Bruno because that's my boy. But if I had to, like, pick a winner and bet money on it, I'd say Dallas. I think he has the least expectations coming in because he didn't do so well. And I think he's going to fly under the radar, you know. He's going to be the new sleeping giant. Uh, now, John, I like that pick. John yeah, yeah. when a new season starts, are you excited to watch it? Or are you like, oh, my gosh, nobody's going to remember me anymore. Stop <laughs> making new shows. Please stop. How do you forget this, Mercy? <laughs> no, you know, it's a little different feel this season. It's weird. It's always different when you see a new group of people go into the house that you once occupied. And now you have a new group of people plus all your friends. So it's a real weird feel, but I think we're all real excited here in the Big Brother community for sure. Now they are saying, Sarah, this is the best Big Brother house, not just the best Big Brother Canada house, but the best Big Brother house of all time. What can we expect from this Odyssey theme? What do you hope to see? Oh, there's so many things that can play out with the space theme, uh, especially the have not room looks insane. They said they're gonna play with time and space. I love that. So who knows what like superpowers could represent time and space. Maybe you could go back. Maybe you could go forward. I, my mind is blowing up. I'm very excited. And yeah, the house looks gorgeous. Godfrey, is there a part of you that's like, I'm gonna watch this season, but really I should be on this show. Of course, of course. To be, I, well, they got like three of my season three buddies, so I'm really happy for them. You know, you got Cindy, you got Bruno, you got Kevin. You could have picked any better so three, right? Here. So political. <laughs> and he'll be back for All Star. Uh, and besides, like, I wouldn't want to get my friend's blood on my hands, you know? So it's kind of a good thing we're not playing together. Oh, it's, right. it's got to be. It's going to be so hard for them. It's already hard on the outside. And, and last question is this. Uh, give me a little update on what you're doing since the show. Since the show, I'm uh, still living here in Toronto, trying to get by, stay out my pup. And that's about it. Sarah? Um, in, uh, still living in Toronto. Actually, no, I'm not. Still, I bought a house in Hamilton. <laughs> me and Scott lived in Hamilton, still working in Toronto. I, I'm, I write now, write for 24 hours, The Sun. And, and amazing Insta stories. And check out my Insta stories. Yeah, yeah. Mert says all time. Of all the best time. of all time. Godfrey, what are you doing since the show? Well, I'm still milking my 50 minutes of fame, man. <laughs> but yeah, just hanging out, the same thing, man. You're chilling working with my out. cat, eating, working out. Yeah, nothing's changed, really. Amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mertz. Thank you, Mertz. Well, that was an amazing experience. Who knew Peely was so good at human curling? Make sure you check out Big Brother Canada. It's airing Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Mondays starting tonight on Global.